everybody. Praise the Lord, Zion. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, Facebook Live. Praise the Lord, saints. It's another day. Amen. To come and glorify the name of the Lord. And we're about to open up our service this morning. We're going to start with prayer. And right after that, we're going to read Psalm 24, verses 1 through 6. And we'll hand it over to the praise team. Amen. For those that are able to stand. Please rest upon your feet. If you are not able, we understand. Eternal God, Heavenly Father, we thank you for another day that you've brought us here to come and glorify your holy name. We thank you, Lord, for your mercy. We thank you, Lord, for your goodness. We thank you, Lord, for your protection. We thank you, Lord, because you've been so kind and so good to us. Uh, we thank you, Lord, for the healing that you've been wrought in uh, back and forth, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for things sometimes that uh, we don't e exactly expect or that's not we, what we anticipate, but we thank you that we get them anyway. We thank you for the pain that we can feel in our body, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for Zion Church in Jesus Christ. We thank you for the service that's about to commence on this morning. We pray, Lord, that you come and come in this morning, that you come and touch somebody this morning, that you heal somebody this morning, that you save somebody somebody this morning that you encourage somebody this morning lord that you manifest your power in somebody's life this morning lord that you take somebody that's discouraged this morning and encourage them lord that you take that marriage that's fallen apart and bind it together this morning lord that you just have your way lord uh, and have your way let your holy ghost touch somebody this morning somebody wants to be truly saved lord uh, and they've been talking back and forth lord when they come in here and hear your word this morning lord let them be convicted in their hearts lord so they can turn around uh, and come and start walking with you somebody just needs the holy ghost this morning lord touch them so they can get the holy ghost father in the name of jesus lord Lord, and all the rest of what's going to happen this morning, Lord, just anoint it. Anoint every single thing that comes through Zion this morning, Lord. Don't let anyone leave here today, Lord, uh, the way they came in. Let them live better than they came in today. In Jesus' name, Lord, amen. Yeah. All righty. Remain standing for the word of God, Psalm 24, and we will read from verses 1 through 6. Psalm 24, verses 1 through 6. Amen. The Lord, uh, the earth is the Lord's, and the fullness thereof, the world and they that dwell therein. For he hath founded it upon the seas, and established it upon the floods. Who shall ascend into the hill of the Lord, or who shall stand in his holy place? He that had clean hands and a pure heart, who hath not lifted up his soul unto vanity, nor sworn, nor sworn deceitfully. He shall receive the blessing from the Lord, and righteousness from the God of his salvation. Verse number 6, this is the generation of them that seek him, that seek thy face, O Jacob Selah. You may be seated. God bless you this morning. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Oh, come on. We can do a little bit better than that. Praise the Lord, everybody. Can I get some praises out there just to stand up on your feet for a second? And let's praise the name of the Lord Jesus. Because he's worthy. Anybody know that the Lord is worthy? Anybody know that the Lord deserves your praise? So somebody put your hands together and praise him. Oh, yeah. Hallelujah. We came to praise the Lord today. Come on, put your hands together. Come on. Oh, praise. Praise him in the new day. Praise him. Praise him. 
Everybody say praise Him. Praise Him. Praise Him in the morning. Praise Him in the new day. Praise Him. Praise Him. Praise Him when the sun goes down. Take it up. Say praise Him.
praise him. Yes, I'll praise him. Yes, I'll praise him. I praise him for the blood. I praise him for the blood. I praise him for the blood. I praise him for salvation. He didn't have to do it, but I'm glad that he did. So yes, I'll praise him. I said yes, I'll praise him. You can look at me funny, but I'm still praising him. You can look at me cross-eyed, but I gotta praise. Yes, I'll praise him. 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 Worship God. My God. Come on, get into, just begin to open up your mouth and just talk to God. Just worship Him. Just tell Him how much you love Him, how much you appreciate Him, how good He's been to you, how much glory you give Him. Hallelujah. Do I have anybody that's willing to give God the glory this morning? Despite what you're going through or what you're dealing with, He still deserves the glory. He still deserves the praise. He still deserves the honor. He's still worthy of it hallelujah so we came to sing glory to your name glory to your name 
There's only one name under heaven whereby we must be saved. That name is Jesus. Somebody out there shout Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on, praise in unison. Help me say glory to your name. Glory to your name. Come on, say glory. Glory to your name. Say glory to your name. Glory to your name. Forever you are the same. before you come on
ministering that song I kind of I kind of went into like a vision I saw some things because praise is not what everybody does but the songwriter made it personal he said it's what I do and I thought about sometimes when I'm driving on the highway I see cars that have, have pulled over with their hazard lights on and, and they have a flat tire. Some of us are praising God on a flat tire. And then there's cars that have their hazard lights on and, and they have a flat but they making their way to the exit. Sometimes you got to praise God, hallelujah. <laughs> even when things are not what they're supposed to be. 
even when you don't feel like it. God is still deserving of a praise. So I just wonder, is there anybody in here that, that, that got a flat tire but you making your way? <laughs> I don't feel good, but I'm making my way. Lord, have mercy. Things are terrible at home, but I'm making my way. Oh, my God. The husband acting up, the wife acting up, the children acting up, but I'm still making my way. So I encourage you, hallelujah, that no matter what you're going through this morning, give God a praise. <laughs> Somebody shout hallelujah. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Somebody shout hallelujah. Glory. Amen. We have a wonderful speaker on this morning. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. <laughs> we have a, a wonderful speaker this morning. Uh, me and First Lady are going to have to, to step out. Uh, we're going to New Beginnings for Bishop Star Wars Appreciation. Um, so if you see us leave, don't panic. Amen. There's nothing wrong. Hallelujah. Uh, but this young man, I, I really don't know what to say about him. but I know he's faithful, faithful. And I know he's called of God. I, I know he's called to preach the, the gospel of Jesus Christ. I know that he's a, he's a steward and a studier, a student of the word of God, and that he loves the word of God. And he loves God's people. And this young man, I believe, will give you the shirt off his back. Come on, somebody. Everybody's not trying to help everybody. Amen. But I just believe he's that kind of spirit where he would just give you his all. So that your life would look better, feel better. Now, he ain't from Sacramento, y'all. Matter of fact, I think he's from, is it New Orleans? Freeport. Well, it's in Louisiana. <laughs> so he is a country boy. <laughs> Amen. We love his children. Amen. Hallelujah. His mom. Amen. Who's back there in, in, in Sweetport. Is that right? Is that right? Amen. So, <laughs> but we're so excited to have him a part of Zion Church in Jesus Christ, and he's going to come and minister in his own way that God leads him this morning, and I'm just going to ask you all to just get behind him, amen? amen. Uh, push him, <laughs> amen. If it's true, just say amen. amen. If it hurts, say ouch. <laughs> it's only going to hurt for a little while. Amen. And sometimes the truth hurts. But we need truth in order to move forward. Amen. So I want to introduce the some and present the others. As all of you are standing on your feet, I would ask that you would stand. Amen. And just receive Pastor Shepherd, Johnny Shepherd. Amen. With a mighty hand praise. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Come on, let's give God some praise. Let's give God some praise. You can do better than that. Come on, let's give God some praise. Let's praise him like he woke you up this morning. Let's praise him, praise him, praise him. Don't stop right there. Look, come on, let's praise him. Let's give God some praise. Let's give God some praise. Maybe I need to say that a little louder. Let's give God some praise. 
Praise him like he put food on your table. Praise him like he paid your bills on time. Praise him like he took you through the years. If it had not been for the goodness of Jesus, where would I be? Come on, you can do better than that. I know some of us can have a flashback right now. And think about the times that he brought you over. Nothing but the grace of God. But God. It is absolutely a wonder to stand before the beautiful people of God. Amen. I'm truly blessed. Amen. To be here on today. Amen. God has certainly been good to me. Amen. You, be, you can be, uh, be seated in the presence of the Lord. Amen. While you're seating, amen, let's give God a hand praise for this beautiful music ministry. Amen. This music ministry has blessed me. I don't know about you, but I get excited just by hearing the praise and worship. And when I can't get here on time, I, I make sure I log on to Facebook. I got to get something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead and stand for them. It's all right. When you got an anointed group of people who's singing, you ought to give God some praise for that. Every church ain't got that. Every church ain't got that. You ought to thank God for them and keep lifting them up. Keep lifting them up. Pray for them. Amen. When something that is that good, you can guarantee the devil is going to come against them. Huh? Amen. We thank God for them. Not only do we thank God for them, but we thank God, amen, for the shepherd of this house. Amen. Amen. District Elder, Pastor Bobby Derry. Amen. Come on and get on your feet. Stand to your feet and give God a hand praise for him. Amen. Come on, you can do better than that. Amen, amen. And in that same celebratory praise, amen. Come on and lift up your voices, amen, for the first lady of this house. Amen, Sister Deary. Amen, an anointed preacher and teacher. Amen. We certainly thank God for them. Amen. Amen. I got a lot of thank yous. Amen. Y'all might as well just stand up. Amen. Amen. We might as well, amen, celebrate the assistant pastor and his wife. Amen. Let's give them a hand clap, clap of praise in this place. Amen. Amen. And, and, oh, and, 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 and a whole host of, amen, elders, ministers, evangelists, Amen. I'm telling you, this is an anointed house. Amen. It is an anointed house. And I know prayer resides here. Amen. Amen. I, I give God praise every chance I can for allowing me, amen, to come into Zion. Amen. For this is the place that the Lord has me to be. Amen. And I'm thankful for that. I'm thankful for it. Amen. I thank God for all the ministries of the house. Amen. Amen. Sister Mur Murphy, amen. It takes me a long time to get names. Amen. I'll never forget a face. But do you know I just got your name? Amen. <laughs> amen. Amen. They call it a little old school. Amen. Whatever is getting. Amen. Maybe age is catching up with me. But amen. God bless you. Amen. I enjoy your lead as a women's ministry lead. Amen. And I'm blessed. Amen. By your presence. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Amen. If you have a moment. Amen. I just want to turn your attention to the book of Matthew. Amen. The book of Matthew. We're going to look at two portions of scripture here. The book of Matthew, beginning in chapter number 14. Chapter number 14. Once we leave Matthew, I'm going to turn over to the book of Peter. 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 9. Amen. As 
that portion of scripture reminds me of the time that we live in today. Amen. Book of Matthew, I would that you stand, if you can, those who are willing and can, stand for the reading of God's word. Amen. It's just an old school custom that I've had. Amen. And as I usually say, I find by standing does not minimize nor does it maximize the word of God. It just shows us how much we reverence the word of God. Amen. And the word of the Lord reads, and I'm going to start reading at verse number 22. As I read aloud and you read silently, and the word of the Lord says, And straightway Jesus constrained his disciples to get into a ship and to go before him unto the other side while he sent the multitudes away. And when he had sent the multitudes away, he went up into the mountains to pray. And when the evening had come, he was there alone. But the ship was now in the midst of the sea, tossed, with waves, and the wind was contrary. And in the fourth watch of the night, somebody say fourth watch, Jesus went unto them, walking on the sea. And when the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were troubled, saying, Is it a spirit? And they cried out, for fear. But straightway Jesus spoke unto them, saying, Be of good cheer. It is I. Be not afraid. And Peter answered him and said, Lord, if it be thou, bid me to come unto thee on the waters. And he said, come. And when Peter was come down out of the ship, he walked on the waters to go to Jesus. But when he saw the winds prosperous, he was afraid and beginning to sink. He cried, saying, Lord, save me. Let's turn over to 1 Peter chapter 2 and verse number 9. When you have it, say amen. Listen carefully and closely, for this is talking about you. But ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, and holy nation, a peculiar people, that ye shall show forth, come on praise team, the praises who has called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Gracious God, in the name of Jesus, God, we thank you. We praise you. We honor you. We give your name the praise, the honor, and the glory. God, we would ask you on this day, O oh God, that the meditation of my mind and my heart and my soul be acceptable unto you. God, I thank you. I praise you, O oh God. I ask you, God, to quiet my mind that I might hear from you. Lord, press your lips towards my ear that I might hear everything that you would want for these, your people, to hear in the mighty name of Jesus. Now, God, we ask you to have your way in this service. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. Amen. On your way to your seat, amen. Look at your neighbor and tell your neighbor, say, neighbor. Y'all didn't say it like you really mean it. Say, neighbor. I am. A water walker. 
Y'all didn't say that like y'all believed it. Amen. You ought to look at somebody else and say, neighbor, I am a water walker. Yeah. I'm feeling this already. Hey. Ooh, God, I'm looking at some water walkers. Amen. Some water walkers. Amen. The book of Peter's, amen, when you look at the background of Peter, amen, you will come to find out that, amen, the, the situations, amen, that Peter was preaching to and people he was preaching to was much like those of today. Amen. And he was facing some of the same situations that we are facing today. And when we look at this and we come to understanding, I come to realize that we live in a day where, amen, we are under attack by the culture that we live in. A, con a culture that continuously tries to define us, amen, by who we are. Causing many of us to be confused about our identity. The attack are so much so that they come through certain venues, amen, like politics, music, media, fashion, and entertainment. There are some attacks coming through sexual identities and the love of money even legal and illegal drugs and alcohol. Being that we receive so many attacks from so many different areas of life, many people have found it to be a commonplace to grab hold of what the world says about them. The culture says that it is all right to be immoral and run for public office. The culture says that it's all right to be drunk as long as you don't drive, just call an Uber. The culture says it's all right to smoke marijuana as long as you call it recreational and buy it at a smoke shop. The culture says it's all right for a man to have a husband and for a woman to have a wife. The culture says it's all right for young ladies to wear shorter, tighter, as long as you get the job. No matter if you become an afterthought for those who are granting it to you. The culture says it's all right to post pictures of yourself holding up the middle finger using words that are unbecoming, but yet claiming to be saved. But because the culture is attacking who we are, I find that many people are confused about who they are. Their folks, folks, are concerned about being harassed, victimized, and abused for refusing to believe what the culture says about them. Such as we have in the text today, amen, lest I hold you long, I'm almost done already, amen, such a, as we have in the text, amen, Pastor Peter is encouraging the church at Pontus, Galatia, Cappadocia, and Asia, and Bithynia, amen, uh, who are experiencing all kinds of persecution. The people who stood for Christ in the midst of a pagan society. Can I tell you today, America has turned into a pagan society. We used to be known as a Christian nation, but no longer are we known as such. Even today, they want to take in God we trust off the money we spend. See, people of God, in this pagan society, culture, the culture we live in has made us feel like aliens and strangers 
amongst the general population. Amen. We live in a time where we can't even confess what we believe in. You can talk about Buddha. You can talk about Confucius. You can talk about anybody you want to talk about. But how dare you mention that name of Jesus in your workplace? See, that's something that the devil recognized there because Jesus has power in his name. Because they know once you mention the name of Jesus, things got to change. People can't act the way they used to act. They got to change the way they walk, change the way they talk, change the way they do things. See, that's power in the name of Jesus. Yeah, God, I remember I grew up in a day and a time, amen, when an alcoholic can be drunk on Sunday. But when he walked by the church, he had made a way to straighten up his attitude. Because he knew that there was power in the name of Jesus. See, you mentioned Confucius, folks that still act the way they act. You mentioned Buddha and Muhammad, amen, that ain't got no power in it. Amen. That's like mentioning Barack Obama. Uh, 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 what's his name? Uh, the, the character that was just president. Amen. But anyway, see, there ain't no power in those names. The power is in Jesus. So in other words, the general population is creating a hostile place where slander and ridicule and discrimination. Discrimination happens to search saints as well, folks. Yeah, they do. See, when you talk church, they don't want to hear it because they're saying you're trying to make them believe what they believe or what we believe. But at the same time, it's okay to talk about that mess and that junk of them trying to make us believe what they believe. Well, the devil is a lie. I ain't trying to believe that. Because I believe in the name that has power. You see, the world and the culture is always trying to change our identity. But we thank God for pastors. I believe Jeremiah said it like this. He said, I will give you pastors according to thine own heart. And they shall what? Feed you with knowledge and understanding. If Pastor Peter was here today, I believe he will begin to minister, amen, to a chosen people, amen, with a new birth. Amen. That's why we thank God for leadership. Amen. We thank God for all the ministers and the elders, amen, and all those who are teaching and preaching the word of God, amen, because they are standing strong in a culture, amen, that is heavily against them. Amen. You ought to thank God for your leadership. Amen. Come on, we can do better than that. We, we ought to thank God for leadership. Amen. For without them, amen, we will fold just like everyone else. Amen. But we thank God. Amen. Peter, if he was here today, he would minister, amen, a living hope, a future inheritance that gives a present joy. Amen. I believe what Peter was ministering, amen, was a spiritual hope. That deals more than with flesh and carnality. Amen. For many preachers today, amen, they preach so much flesh that I can't even tell whether they're preaching Jesus or they're preaching flesh. Or they're preaching carnality, amen, where everybody is trying to get ahead. Amen. And I know some people will say, I want to have both. Amen. But baby, if it comes to having Jesus and carnality, amen, I'll have Jesus every time. Two points that I want to give to you, and I'm out of here. Amen. And the first one, amen, is when I flip over to Peter and I look at what Peter was ministering to, amen, in his generation and the reason why he was telling the saints at that time that they were a chosen people. Chosen means, and it deals with salvation. Now, Titus says it like this, not by works of righteousness, which we have done, but according to his mercy, he saved us. 
by the washing and the regeneration and the renewing of the Holy Ghost. Anybody need their Holy Ghost renewed? Amen. We ought to renew that Holy Ghost every day and every opportunity we get. Because if Jesus would have told us what does it take in order for him to save us? See, Jesus saved some of us out of the mock in the mire. He saved some of us out of trouble and times of despair. But Jesus has to reach way down deep on the inside in order to reach the depths of your soul and bring you to a, an expected place. Oh, the cost of redemption. I mean, when you think about what Jesus done to save you, that's enough to give God praise right there. Listen, saints of God, if I can tell you that we have too much praising over flesh and carnality, it's time for us to reach that spiritual death. Amen. And begin to praise God over spiritual things. Because it is the spiritual that controls the natural. Amen. Because when we pray, we can pray into the spiritual. And the spiritual can come down and change the natural. Hey, God, I, I learned some time ago. Amen. I don't fight with my dukes no more. I don't fight with muscle anymore. When I fight, I fight on my knees. Amen. Because there's so much callous on my knees. Amen. I don't mind getting down on my knees. I'm getting excited too soon. Hey, amen. Amen. But 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 you want to see a fight, amen. Show me somebody who can get on their knees. When you can get on your knees and you can reach the heavens, amen. Just like uh, amen. He he told him, Amen, you ought to enter in to his gates with thanksgiving. Enter in his courts. Oh, I'm talking to somebody out here. You know what I'm talking about. In the end, I don't care what's going on in your life, but you ought to end the end with praise. Yeah, God. Uh, and everything that I've done, everything that I think I'm going to do, I can throw it up at the altar and say, God, I'm putting it right here on the table because I'm sacrificing it unto you. Uh, God. Talking about being a water walker. Yeah, God, I, I see some water walkers rising up right now. <laughs> Amen. I always say you can tell the difference between a Judahite uh, and a Benjamite. Uh, a Benjamite is all educated. Uh, Amen. They know too much. Amen. But a Judahite, uh, you can tell them because they sit in their seat and they rock and they shake. <laughs> Whoa! Uh, they get excited. Uh, Hey God, uh, I want to talk to some Judahites, uh, amen, that got praise on the inside, uh, praise on the outside. Uh, woo, God, uh, help me, Holy Ghost. Uh, woo, God. Uh, uh, for the Bible tells us that we have not a high priest uh, that cannot touch, amen, with the feelings of our infirmities. Uh, Means that, amen, that he's gone through everything that we're thinking of, everything that we want to go through. Jesus has already experienced it because he took it all to the cross and he nailed it right there. Whatever you're going through, whatever you're thinking about going through, whatever is on your mind, Jesus has already been there. Jesus has already been there. In other words, Jesus is saying that the word became flesh. In other words, he became like us so that we can become like him. Huh? So if I can stop right here and tell you, that's why it's so important for us to move on that spiritual realm. Saints of God, it's time to elevate and get off the fleshly realm. It's time to elevate and get off the carnality ram. 
I know we want the house in the hills. Hey Amen. I was driving in El Dorado Hills just the other day, and I seen million dollar homes. Hey Amen. And I thought to myself, and at first glance, I'm saying, "Oh my goodness!" But as I begin to think about it, I said, "What a sickness! This home is too big for one person to live in. What in the world? And I'm gonna do with 15 bedrooms? What in the world? And I'm gonna do with five bathrooms? Maybe I just need one." That's, that's that pagan society that we're living in. We become so greedy that we want more than we can handle. My God, my God, my God. Ah, look, 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 look. My second point is this. He, he, he has called us to be a royal priesthood. Amen. Look at somebody and tell, tell your neighbor, I'm royalty. Y'all didn't say it like you believe it. Amen. Tell somebody, I'm royalty. Amen. Uh, being that I'm royalty, you better watch how you treat me. You better watch how you treat me. You better watch the words that you say to me because you don't know who you're talking to. Amen. You're talking to royalty. Amen. I mean, oh, God. Uh, amen. Uh, the Bible says the angels bow down. Oh, God, uh, they bow down before you. Heaven and earth adores you. Oh, God, go ahead and dust your shoulder off, baby. I'm royalty. Uh, I, I'm royalty. I'm all that and the bag of chips. Whee! Yeah, baby, yeah. Yeah, baby. Listen, young women, don't you take no anything. Amen. If he coming to you, tell him to come on to church. He talking to royalty. Amen. If, if he can't come to church, he don't deserve you. Hey, God, and I ain't just talking to the young women, but the young men, amen. If she can't, uh, I don't care how big the legs are, how cute the smile is, if she can't praise God, you better leave that devil alone. Hey. Why? Because you are a water walker. Hey, God, God, good God for glory. Look at it. Deuteronomy chapter 14 says, amen, verse 2 says, For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. And the Lord has what? Chosen thee to be, watch this, a peculiar people. Amen. Can I tell you, amen, watch this. Sometimes what happens all the time, I, I don't know if maybe I'm the only one, but amen, oftentimes when I'm at work, amen, doc, I, I, I send the email, but I forget the attachment. Anybody ever done that? <laughs> amen. Uh, but let me stop right here and add the attachment. God said you are a what? Peculiar people. That means you ain't called out to be like all the rest. Amen. You called out to be different. Uh, church folks, you ought to stop trying to be like the world. Baby, you are a water walker. You ain't got time to be like the world. You ain't got time to look like the world. You ain't got time to drive what the world drives. Baby, I am peculiar. That means I'm different. I love it that you look at me strange. I love it that you look at me like something is wrong because I know that I'm different. Tell your neighbor, I am different. And I'm proud of it. I can hold my shoulders back. I can hold my head up. And I can be different because I'm peculiar. I'm peculiar, I'm peculiar, I'm peculiar. Watch this. And the scripture goes on to say, watch this. And he says, because you are so peculiar. He says, you are above all the nations upon the earth. In other words, anything that the devil can pull is under. Y'all better talk to me up in here. It's under. No matter what you go through, it's under. Come sickness or in health, it's under. Oh, y'all, 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 y'all the A-class, amen. Watch this. Everything, everything that you, oh, God, uh, oh, that has breath. Hey, you better, you better learn to open up your mouth. The songwriter said, don't wait. 
Don't wait till the battle is over. <laughs> but I'm going to shout right now. Anybody got a right now shout? You got a right now pray? I'm going to shout right now. I'm going to shout right now. When the world tells you who you are, you can holler back at them and say, that's not who I am. But I'm a praiser. I'm a praiser. And I'm ready to shout. I'm ready to open up my mouth. I'm ready to give God the praise. I'm ready to call out his name. Jesus. Jesus. Jesus in the morning. Jesus in the noonday. Jesus late at night. I can call him anytime. There's never a busy line. There's never an operator putting me on hold. But when I call Jesus, he's ready to answer. And he says, come. Oh, Lord. Lord, Lord, Lord. Lord, Lord. See, you can tell the world uh, that's not who I am. You can tell the world I ain't a part of all that stuff that you got going on because I'm peculiar. I'm different. Amen. I'm a praiser in the morning. I'm a praiser at night. I'm a praiser. God woke me up about three o'clock this morning. And you know what happened? I woke up praising him. I woke up shouting. My children didn't know what was going on. But I was thanking God before what he's done for me. I thought about yesterday. He woke me up this morning. He started me on my way. I can use my hands. And they hollered back at me. I stepped out of bed. And the body followed it. That's enough to give God praise right there. Many folks didn't wake up this morning, but God thought enough of me to wake me up this morning, to start me on my way. I'm going to praise him. I'm going to shout. I'm going to holler. I'm going to walk. Bless his name. The reason I can do all of that is because I recognize uh, when I start reading uh, Matthew chapter 14, uh, I realize uh, the things that was going on. Uh, you see, John got his head chopped off uh, in the beginning of the chapter. Uh, then I realize uh, what God did for me uh, when he fed the 5,000 uh, because the Bible says uh, that the people got hungry. Uh, yes, uh, the people were hungry uh, and Jesus Jesus said, uh, don't send them away. Uh, Jesus said, uh, what do you have? Uh, and they said, oh, we only have uh, five loaves uh, and two fish. Uh, and Jesus said, uh, give it to me. And would you watch what Jesus did? Uh, Jesus took it uh, from the disciples. Uh, and the Bible says, uh, he blessed it. Uh, yes. Uh, and he broke it. Uh, yes. Uh, and he gave it to uh, his disciples. Uh, yes. Uh, to feed the multitudes. Uh, yes. Uh, and the Bible says uh, there was still bread uh, that was left over uh, to fill 12 loaves of bread. Uh, then I realized uh, oh, Pastor Deary, uh, what he has been doing to me. Uh, oh, God. Yeah. And he showed me uh, that Jesus uh, took me from the world. Uh, yes, he did. Uh, like he took the bread. Uh, and he took, stretched me towards heaven. Uh, and he 
blessed me. Uh, yes. Uh, and then he broke me. Uh, yes. And then, then he gave uh, to the multitudes. Uh, yes. Then he said, well, have the rest of the bread come from uh, to feed all uh, the 5,000. Uh, and he said, well, uh, the breaking. Uh, come on, sis. The breaking uh, is coming uh, when he broke you uh, and all the crumbs uh, fell in the 12 basket. Uh, there's more to you than what meets the eye. There's more to you than what meets the eye. The devil don't see it. Folks don't see it. Men don't see it. The Bible says, eyes have not seen it. Ears have not heard. Neither has it entered into the heart of man what it is that you are about to be. What you are getting ready to walk into. But the Lord said, that ain't the end. He said, there's more in the chapter. Thank you, Lord. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Hallelujah. Oh, bless his name. Hallelujah. Listen, saints of God. The Bible says there was more in the chapter. Amen. Because he told the, 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 the disciples, go to the other side. Yes. And he said, go on to the other side. I'm going to send you, amen, over to the other side in the ship. Mm -hmm. And he said, that's not the end of the story. And as they got into the ship, the Bible says, Jesus, he departed, amen, to pray. Hallelujah, somebody. And when he departed in to pray, the Bible says he went into prayer. Oh, God. But you got to watch it here. Because the scripture says in the fourth night, in the fourth watch of the night, which means that was somewhere between 3 a.m. and 6 in the morning. Amen. In the fourth watch of the night, Jesus, the Bible says he came walking unto them. One thing that I love about the disciples here, they didn't see carnality. They didn't see flesh, but they say it must be a spirit. Oh, God. And I'm looking at some saints of God. They know how to see God in the spirit. I'm tired of us looking at flesh and calling it Jesus. Looking at carnality and calling it Jesus. You ought to look in the spirit. Look in the spirit and see who he is. Oh, God. You got to look in the spirit. But that's not it. That's not it, saints of God. For they said, watch this. Watch this. Thank you, sir. Y'all forgive me for just a moment. Amen. Hallelujah. Watch this. In the fourth watch of the night, which means it was dark. Elder, it was dark out there. Amen. And I know we preach about Peter sinking. Yeah, amen. And yes, he did. He sunk and he took his eyes off Jesus. But Jesus was walking out on the water. Yeah. Hey, God. And he was walking out on the water. And they seen the spirit of Jesus, not the flesh of Jesus, not the carnality of Jesus, but they seen the spirit of Jesus. And they said, it must be a spirit. And Jesus tell them the same as he's telling us today, be not afraid, be of good cheer. I don't care what you're going through, you ought to be of good cheer. Amen, you can lift up your hands. I know when you come to church, Amen. The devil tried to sit on you and keep you from praising him. But you ought to lift up your voice. Oh, God. We're about to get to the Shenando right now. But you ought to open up your mouth. I don't care what's coming your way. I don't care what it looks like. I don't care how hard it feels. I don't care how bound it feels. But I'm telling you, you ought to open up your mouth and give God a Shabbat in this place. 
Yes! 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 Jesus! If I can testify just for a moment, when I was young, you see, my first wife, she passed away. She died at a young age, left me all alone with two children. I didn't know what to do. I thought I wasn't going to make it. But God, but God, but God, but God came to my rescue. He stopped me in to see about me. When I looked at it just the other day, my oldest son preaching all over the country. My youngest son, I took him to the airport this morning, flying into prosperity. And I looked back over my life and God said, what you've been doing, my son? You've been a water walker. You walked over heartaches. You walked over pain. You walked over wrong desire. Yes! 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 I see some water walkers walking over your heartache, walking over your pain, walking over your troubles, walking over, walking over. Keep your eyes. Hold Jesus. Keep your eyes. Hold Jesus. Yes! Yes! Yeah, yeah, yes. <laughs> One last thing, and I'm done. Woo, I'm done on this. <sighs> yes. Oh yes. Yes. See, the Bible says Peter took his eyes off Jesus. It says he took his eyes off Jesus. And when he took his eyes off Jesus, sometimes in our situation, the winds are heavy. Amen. They're very boisterous. They're coming against us from the north, from the south, from the east, from the west. But one thing I got excited about when Jesus, when Peter, excuse me, when Peter took his eyes off Jesus, the Bible says that Peter began to sink. He began to sink. He went on down. But you know what I'm happy about? What I got happy over? Because Peter, Peter, he had enough sense to holler back and look at the world and say, that's not who I am. But I'm going to holler and say, Lord, Lord, save me. Lord, save me. Somebody ought to holler. Lord, 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 Lord. Save me! Save me! says that Jesus stretched out his hands. <laughs> I don't care what you in. I don't care what it looked like. The Bible says Jesus stretched forth his hand and he saved him. <sighs> you know why he saved him? 
because Peter told him this. And I'm telling you, this is why he's saving you. Because you are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy, holy saints of God, holy nation, a peculiar people. You're not called to be like everybody else. Go on to work. Go on to school with your head up. Hold it high. Pull your shoulders back. And baby, you are chosen. Chosen. Yes. That's your show for the praises of his people who saved you. And watch this. He called you out of darkness. Come on, saints of God. You can get happy with me. He called you into this marvelous. He didn't call it any kind of light, but he said it was a marvelous light. Woo! My God, people of, people of God, you are awesome. You're awesome. You're awesome. You're awesome. Give God a praise. Right where you are. Listen, I hope you don't mind, Pastor Derry, Elder Shelter, amen, but watch this. The praises in this place have been so anointed, hallelujah. You know, sometimes I feel myself like Ezekiel, y'all know Ezekiel, Ezekiel was one of those, amen, he can go into a trance just by standing there. Amen. And just enjoying the glory of the Lord. Amen. And sometimes when I come into this place, I find myself in a trend. Amen. Just going into the presence of the Lord. And, and watch this many a times. Uh, it's because of you. Because when I see you, I don't see the carnality in you. I don't see the flesh in you. But I see the spirit of God in you. Oh. And I say, God, look at what you are doing. And look at what you have done. They persecuted you. They lied on you. They sold you for 30 pieces of silver. And the Bible says you open not your mouth. But you walk down that street knowing that they had the wrong man. While most people looked at Jesus and then they seen the carnality and they, 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 they mocked him and said, if you be God, save yourself. But they couldn't see the spiritual, the spirit of God. So the Bible says, watch this, he placed himself on the cross. Huh? Because watch this, he says, no man. Ooh, what a bad God we serve. No man can take my life. But I lay it down when I'm good and ready. And Jesus said, the time is now. And thanks of God, that's what I'm saying to you. And all that is happening in the world today, the time is now. Don't you sit down on God. He's brought you too far. If this word is spoke to, watch this, if it spoke to the spirit of who you are, I invite you to meet me at this altar. I invite you Let's take that next level. Let's take that next leap. Everyone standing, everyone standing. Let's take that next leap and step over into the spirit. The spirit of what God is doing. Yeah. I think 
the songwriter said, God, if you never do another thing, you've done enough. And based on what he's done already in your life, I invite you to take that leap. Take that leap. Take that leap. God is speaking to someone. Walk out on faith. Walk out. And allow God. God. Allow God to make that change in your life. Yes, yes. Listen, listen. The two places we sit down on God. We sit down on God when it's time to give an offering. And we sit down on God when it's time to come to the altar. I grew up down south. And I was always taught. When somebody is nice to you and they offer you a blessing, you bless them. God has blessed you. I'm looking at some blessed people today. Come on, saints of God. Let's move beyond the spirit, the the natural. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen. If you're here and you're never, you've never been filled with the gift of the Holy Ghost. You've never been baptized in Jesus' name. I invite you to come. I invite you to come. Perhaps you've been filled with the Holy Ghost, but your Holy Ghost has been laying dormant. And you you need a renewing. Come on, saints of God. Come on, saints of God. Don't sit down on him. He's done too much for you. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. God is talking. God is talking. Know what I see on you? The spirit of God. And, and I know that devil is getting ready to attack you. But I plead the blood over your life. In the mighty name of Jesus, that God will cover you in everything that you do. I'm speaking right now. In the name of Jesus, no weapon that is formed against you shall not prosper. And every rising tongue shall be condemned. Jesus, 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 I put on what God is getting ready to do. He's raising up the next generation. Young lady, I don't know you. I just know you, her daughter. And and she put a post out on you. I don't know if you know about it. But you're getting ready to go change your life. You're getting ready to step into greatness. You're getting ready to step into the unknown. God is about to take you someplace. And I'm telling you right now today that the blood of Jesus covers you. No matter where you go, no matter what you're confronted with, Jesus in the morning, Jesus late at night, with God in your studies, I pronounce right now that you are an honor roll student and no weapon, no weapon, no weapon, formed against you shall be able to prosper in the name of Jesus 
in the name of Jesus. Go be great, young lady. about what you walked, walked through. Hallelujah. Amen. We thank and praise God for the word that went forth on this afternoon. And we thank and praise God for the vessel that he used. I'm going to say that again. I thank and praise God for the vessel that he used. He preached out of his soul. I didn't know the brother could walk, move that way. But amen, when the Holy Ghost moves, amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. My soul says yes. Hallelujah. We thank and praise God for you that are here. We thank and praise God for the Facebook family. We're going to ask that you will stand. Yes, I love you. Amen. We want to invite you.
invite you to Bible study on Tuesday night. Want to invite you on our prayer line Monday through Friday. Hallelujah. We thank and praise God for the one that wants to become a member of Zion Church in Jesus Christ. Amen. We want the pastor to be here to, amen, amen, to minister to you, to counsel you. Amen. And then he will take it from there. Amen. Every head bow. Father, in the name of Jesus. We thank you for your presence that is in this place right now. Softly, softly, softly. 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 We thank you for your presence that is in this place. We thank you for your word that went forth this afternoon. And we thank you for the vessel that you used. Help us, oh God, to let that word find a lodging place in our hearts. So that we will always remember that we are a peculiar people, a royal priesthood, a holy nation. That we are water walkers. Take us to our several places of abode. Dispatch angels to go with the pastor to set to Fresno. And bring him back at the appointed time. And we will give your name glory. We'll give you honor and we'll give you praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. Come on, give the Lord a praise in this place.